this class we discuss about millman's theorem millman's theorem is a combination of thevenin's theorem and norton's theorem millman's theorem was deduced by jacob millman born on 1911 in ukraine was a professor of electrical engineering department at columbia university millman obtained his doctorate from mit in 1935 He joined Columbia University in 1951 and retired in 1975. From 1941 to 1987, Millman wrote eight textbooks on electronics. He received the IEEE Education Medal in 1970. He left this planet on May 22, 1991 in Florida, USA. Millman's theorem otherwise known as the parallel generator theorem is named after him. He lived for 80 years in this planet and even today he lives in the form of his theorem in all electrical and electronic textbooks. Millman's theorem a number of current sources in parallel may be replaced by a single current source. whose current strength is equal to algebraic sum of individual source currents and the source resistance is equal to the parallel combination of individual source resistances limitation of millman's theorem this theorem is applicable only when the sources are connected directly in parallel without any resistance element between the sources applications of millman theorem number 1 this theorem helps to combine a number of current sources operating in parallel and has the advantage of being easier to apply to some networks than mesh analysis node analysis or superposition number 2 a voltage source can be converted into a current source thus it can also be applied to a circuit when both current and voltage sources are present number 3 this theorem is also applicable if the circuit has a mixer of parallel voltage and current sources now we'll see the explanation of millman's theorem parallel current sources the current sources that are directly connected in parallel can be replaced by a single equivalent current source This is 3 amps. See the direction. This is upper direction. This is 6 amp. Upper direction. 8 amps. Downward direction. This is 400 ohms. 200 ohms. 400 ohms. Now I have to convert it into a single equivalent current source. So 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. 9 minus 8 is equal to 1 amps. So equivalent current source is 1 amps. The resistance, internal resistance, is 1 by R is equal to 1 by 400 plus 1 by 200 plus 1 by 400. That is equal to 0.01. That is 1 by R. 1 by R is equal to 0.01. Therefore, R is equal to 100 ohms. The internal resistance is 100 ohms. So I convert this entire circuit into a single equivalent current source. Parallel voltage sources. The voltage sources that are connected in parallel. can be replaced by a single equivalent voltage source here this is 36 volts this is 18 ohms 27 volts 9 ohms 6 volt 3 ohms i am is to find what is the current flow through the 4 ohm resistor here this is plus minus plus minus this is minus plus i convert it to a equivalent current source that is 36 by 18 that is equal to 2 amps Again, the 18 ohm resistor is connected in parallel. This is 27 by 9. Here, the 9 ohm resistor. This is 6 by 3. That is equal to 2 amps. This is 3 amps. The 3 ohm resistor is connected. So, this direction is 2. This direction is 3. This direction is minus. Therefore, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 amps. So, this is 3 amps. The resistance is 1 by R is equal to 1 by 18 plus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 3. That is equal to 1 by 0.5. R is equal to 2 ohms. This is 3 amps. This is 2. This is a equivalent current source. The equivalent current source can be converted into a equivalent voltage source. This is 6 volts. This is 2 ohms. 
this is 4 therefore i is equal to 6 divided by 6 that is equal to 1 amps current through the 4 ohm resistor is 1 amps voltage sources and current sources in parallel each parallel connected current sources can be converted to an equivalent voltage source and the set of parallel connected voltage sources can be converted to an equivalent voltage source here this is a circuit in the circuit this is 12 volts this is 6 ohms 12 ohms this is 16 volts 4 ohms our aim is to find what is the voltage across AB or thevenance voltage and what is the current flow through the 18 ohm resistor that is the question VAB or V thevenance that is equal to I1, I2, I3 that is equal to I therefore E1 by R1 that is 12 by 6 E2 by R2 here 0 by 12 plus E3 by R3 that is 16 by 4 that is equal to 2 plus 0 plus 4 that is equal to 6 1 by R1 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 4 that is equal to 0 0.5 therefore thevenant voltage or voltage across AB is equal to 12 volts this is 12 volts next we have to find the thevenance resistance that is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 4 that is equal to 2 ohms this is 2 ohms therefore current flow through the 18 ohm resistance is 12 by 20 that is 18 plus 2 that is equal to 20 voltage is 12 that is equal to 0.6 amps with this I conclude my lecture Thanks for listening.